Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are moving two 48 metre long bridge beam sections with alders. They're being moved on a double bolster setup, being pulled by a ballast tractor on a drawbar. Ballast tractors are about 42 tonne. And we're moving them from Cleveland Bridge in Darlington to the M6 Junction 11 down near Wolverhampton. The two trucks are T Treble 8, driven by Zach, and T Treble 1, driven by Tom Savory. Alex is steering Zach, and I'm steering uh, Tom in T Treble 1 AHH. So if you saw the video a few weeks ago, you'd have saw us with Terry pulling one of these bridge beams out of the factory here uh, and parking it up just where we've just pulled out of. So today we're actually moving them on the road. So this is us coming through the factory, making a left turn and driving down towards the factory gate. Obviously, they, <laughs> they don't make it easy for us as uh, bridge beams parked up and things here and there to negotiate. As you can see, Alex come around there well. Cleveland Bridge have been based in Darlington since 1877. Founded by Henry Dixon who led 11 workers out of the failing Skern Steelworks and started Cleveland Bridge. They've built some of the world's most iconic bridges all over the world, including Middlesbrough Transporter Bridge in 1911, the Fourth Road Bridge in Scotland in 1964, the QE2 Bridge on the M25 in London in 1991, and a great many more. So after leaving the factory and turning right onto the main Yarm Road, we're faced with a roundabout at Morrison's, which we have to go straight over. As you can see, there's quite a bit of street furniture and uh, lampposts around. This is myself and uh, Tom just coming out of the works. Coming into the same roundabout that Zach's just negotiated. So we're steering off the rear control panel here. There's a, a lever that controls the, the steering of the wheels. And then uh, several others that control the height of the suspension. You can see it's pretty tight around some of these roundabouts. So here we, we can't turn right onto the A66, which is what we need to do. So we have to turn left onto the A66 and head up to the next roundabout and circumnavigate all the way around the roundabout back on ourselves. So we hit this roundabout straight on rather than trying to turn right. This is myself and Tom just turning left onto the A66. And then we set up the wheels straight here, put it onto automatic steering. I jump into the van with the escort uh, driver. And we make our way down to the roundabout that we're going to go all the way round. So we have got uh, a police escort here with. Uh, about four or five motorbikes. As you can see, they <laughs> they dart around the uh, load to get past. Um, the puff of smoke is from the rear donkey engine, which powers the hydraulics. So we've got a great shot here of uh, 
of Alex's rear bogey coming around the roundabout and the front of T treble one. Here we are, we've gone right the way around the roundabout and we're now heading back down the A66. And this is myself and Tom navigating around the roundabout. From this angle you see it gets quite close to the lamppost here. But after that it's it's not too bad. But this is all done on foot. Again, once we get around this roundabout here, we'll set the wheels back straight again and put it on automatic steer back down to the, the roundabout that we've just turned left on. So we're, we're now further away from the start point than when we started. As we head back towards the A66 and Yarm Road Junction. This time we will be going straight across the roundabout. So back out of the escort van and back onto the, st onto the steering. And just sort of checking out what Alex is getting close to, to give myself an idea of where to place the bogey. We see here now Alex just nicks a little bit of kerb around the roundabout just to avoid the uh, lamppost with the uh, with the tail swing. So we're now just coming to the uh, the roundabout with Darlington Stadium on it. Again, there's a little bit more room. There's, there's not much furniture on the actual roundabout itself. So it's a little bit easier to get around this one. So this is us just joining the uh, the A1 South now from the uh, A66M. And we cut to a shot of GoPro on the back of the van that shows the load again on the A1 South. And that's near enough it for this video. I hope you uh, like this one. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.